One of the reasons I'm a little bit fired up today is I recently read an article by a Christian broadcaster who will go unnamed, a good man, uh, been broadcasting for 31 years, and he starts off his article saying he's been broadcasting for 31 years and he's never said that he believes a president is doing irreparable damage to our country. And this was going to be his flag in the ground that on this day he was going to say that he believed that Barack Obama is doing and has, and has done and continues to do things that are causing irreparable harm to the United States. And I read it and it was like saltless oatmeal. Have you ever had oatmeal without salt? <laughs> Try it sometime. It's just, it's intolerable. So I thought, you know, this is why we're losing. When a man who has access to people via television and via articles, via radio, and he really thinks that his voice matters. And it's the first time after six years of the Obama presidency, it's the first time, never mind Bill Clinton, never mind George Bush, never mind Jimmy Carter. I mean, this is the first time he's ever said that a president is doing irreparable damage to our country. Are you kidding me? Are you trying to indict yourself? Where are the Elijahs of God? Now there are people saying that they want to impeach Obama. I'm going to tell you why I think it's a bad idea. And some good people. I mean, Sarah Palin, for example, just wrote an article. I love Sarah Palin. I think she's a great woman. But I think she's wrong on this. And there's two reasons. One is, number one, we need to be beating our breasts, okay? Barack Obama is a bad man. John Boehner is a worse man. Because John Boehner says he's pro-life. Mitch McConnell, the leader of the uh, minority leader of the Senate, they say they're pro-life. They say they're conservative. And yet they cave in and cave in and cave in. They say the words that they think that we want to hear, but then they go along with Obama's agenda. They're treacherous. All right? Pilate was a bad man. Judas was worse. Jesus said that. Do you understand? Jesus said, look, you're going to have sin. In so many words, he said to Pilate, you're going to have to deal with the consequences of what you do to me. But he who delivered me up to you has the greater sin. The, 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 the act of Judas, the name of Judas. No one names their kid Judas. I mean, think about it. His name is a, a blight and a curse on the human race. Because he was one of the twelve. Because he knew better. And these people, so we want to we blame Obama, as we should. He's an evildoer, all right? This is the most wicked president we've ever had. He genuinely is. But we might just deserve him. 55% of Roman Catholics, 33% of evangelical Christians voted this man into office. This is an offense to God. This is, this is sin. It's actually sin. And now we want to impeach him? We should be beating our breasts saying, God, forgive us what we've done. Forgive us for what we've done. Forgive us for what we've become. Forgive us for our complacency. Forgive us that these abortion mills f f exist in the shadow of our cathedrals and our megachurches. Forgive us, Lord, that we've taken the 501c3 bridle in our mouths and we march along with our Christian broadcasting and we don't name names and we don't condemn vile, treacherous policy sins so that we can raise money. That's, if we're going to impeach anybody, <laughs> you figure out who we should impeach. And then I'll tell you one more reason why we should probably not do it when we come back from this break.